A U.S. spy plane is flying at an altitude of 85,000 feet in the sky of the Soviet Union. Perfectly captured the number plate of an important person's car speeding down the road. Sensing the infiltration of enemy aircraft, the Soviet Air Defense Brigade fired missiles and supersonic warplanes flew in the sky. But no one could reach the Blackbird. Because the speed of the plane is more than the missile. The reader must be thinking, is this possible again? Today you will be told the story of the world's fastest aircraft, whose 24-year service life has never been caught by more than 4,000 missiles. Immediately after World War II, the Cold War began between the United States and the Soviet Union. This is not a conventional war. It is just an attempt to outdo each other militarily and technologically. In 1956, the U.S. built a spy plane called the U-2, which would sneak into Soviet airspace and take pictures to stay ahead of the war. In 1960, a U-2 was shot down by a Soviet anti-aircraft missile while taking pictures from 70,000 feet. The arrest and jailing of its pilot caused a major deterioration in the relations between the two countries. Soon, soon after this, plans were made to replace recon aircraft with satellites and the Corona spy satellite program was accelerated. A detailed article on this satellite mentions that spying was not always possible with the Corona satellite. Hence the need for a new type of reconnaissance aircraft. In continuation of this, in 1964 long-range, high-altitude, high-speed reconnaissance aircraft State Route 71 was created. The aircraft manufactured by the American aircraft manufacturer Lockheed Corporation was nicknamed Blackbird, which was able to run at a speed of 3.2 times the speed of sound. No faster jet engine-powered aircraft has been built in the world. After the State Route 71 was retired from the U.S. Air Force, it also played a role in NASA's space exploration program. At the time, the State Route 71 was doing the kind of surveillance that drones do today. SR is basically an acronym for strategic reconnaissance. Engineer Clarence Johnson created the concept of this strange aircraft. His target was to develop a high-speed interceptor aircraft that would not be easily detected by radar. This was followed by three YF-12 prototypes, each capable of carrying three air-to-air -air missiles. But CIA requirements and the YF-12's field performance showed that it would perform better as a reconnaissance than an interceptor. As a result, 1202 reconnaissance aircraft were built based on this aircraft design. It would have required a pilot. In one mission during the Vietnam War, an A-12 reconnaissance aircraft produced a surprise by simultaneously dodging six Vietnamese surface-to-air missiles. The Americans then developed a 20-foot supersonic drone called the D-21, essentially a dwarf version of the A-12, 102 feet, to reduce pilot risk. This drone would fly, fly 90,000 feet at a speed of 3,600 kilometers per hour and destroy itself after taking pictures. The M21, a two-pilot version of the A12, is used to carry drone sys made it was later found that the two-pilot aircraft performed best in reconnaissance missions. But its drones cannot be used more than once, so the cost is increasing. Therefore, the project of a completely new model aircraft named State Route 71 was taken up. All this means that the YF12, A12, M21 are all cousins of the State Route 71, which looks similar to the naked eye. Except for the YF-12, none of the aircraft carried any missiles or other weapons. The State Route 71 carried a total of 3,500 pounds of ITEC KA-102A, 910 to 1,220 mm, cameras and other ancillary reconnaissance payloads. It could take very precise pictures, so it often flew over important military installations in the Soviet Union, China, Vietnam, North Korea. The aircraft could survey an area of 100,000 square miles in just one hour. It is said that the Blackbird's camera was so advanced that it could go 200 kilometers per hour on the road. It is possible to take a perfect picture of the number plate of a speeding car from an altitude of 85,000 feet. There was no GPS technology in those days. Again, at 33,000 feet, the compass-based navigation system gives incorrect readings due to the Earth's magnetic field. So the Blackbird used to follow the stars in the sky. What? Surprised? Astro-inertial navigation system is used in State Route 71.
This system had a type of star tracker called blue light, which helped to determine the position of the aircraft relative to the position of 61 stars in the sky and helped to fly the aircraft correctly. According to a former Blackbird pilot, the system was so perfect that if it went wrong, it would move as much as 300 meters left and right from the course. 85% of the SR-71's airframe body is made of titanium. As a result, demand during construction is greater than supply. The main exporter of this precious metal at that time was, was the Soviet Union. But Blackbird is a secret project. Buying such a large amount of titanium would be suspicious of the Soviet intelligence agency KGB. Therefore, the U.S. intelligence agency CIA created several fake companies at home and abroad. Through them, they made airplanes with metal bought from the Soviet Union, which used to spy on them. Also, due to the high speed, the friction of the aircraft with the air generated a lot of heat, 316 degrees Celsius, which increased the length of the metal parts by several millimeters. As a result, several prototypes suffered from problems. To solve this, some parts of the later aircraft were slightly changed in size. But later it was found that now the plane leaks fuel. As a result, the Blackbird never flew with a full fuel tank. Shortly after takeoff, when the problem of lengthening the parts resolved itself, the Blackbird would collect the necessary fuel in flight from another oil tanker aircraft in the sky. This is also done to reduce the stress on the landing gear and air brakes. The State Route 71 aircraft traveled 5,230 kilometers with about 46,500 liters of fuel. He was able to conduct operations far away. If necessary, its range or endurance was extended by refueling several times. Because after landing, the Blackbird had to undergo routine maintenance for at least a week to fly again. Sometimes it would take a month. Its parts damage was high. It has sometimes been seen that two nuts have fallen off due to high speed. Also, the aircraft had several parts that could not be used more than once. For these reasons, about $300 million were spent annually on the maintenance of the Blackbird. Besides, it cost $85,000 per hour to fly this plane. In 1981, the plane made an emergency landing in Norway while taking pictures of the Soviet Union's new naval base. If there is a problem with any of the parts, it is not possible to diagnose it quickly, so the maintenance crew replaces the entire wing with one of the engines and flies the plane again. For these reasons, the State Route 71 was the most sensitive military technology of its time. Each Blackbird cost $34 million in 1966, equivalent to $278 million today. The Blackbird uses two Pratt and Whitney J-58 afterburning turbojet engines. It can be converted from turbojet to ramjet as per requirement. This procedure is quite complex. The Blackbird was able to climb to an altitude of 85,000 feet or 25.9 kilometers with ease. The State Route 71 Blackbird also has a top speed of 3,540 kilometers per hour, 2,200 miles per hour, which is equivalent to Mach 3.2 on the speed of sound scale. At that time no missile of the Soviet Union was capable of taking it down. More than 4,000 anti-aircraft missiles were fired during the 24-year service life of the aircraft. None of it touched him. It also outspeeded 200 fighter jets during this period. In 1987, a Blackbird set a world record speed of Mach 3.5 while dodging a missile over Libya. Learning from the A-12's experience in Vietnam, the SR-71 software system was programmed so that the aircraft's early warning system would automatically accelerate out of missile range if it detected a missile firing. As a result, the two pilots did not have to do much much. There were no anti-aircraft missiles that could fly at such a height then. A total of 32 Blackbirds were built, 12 of which were destroyed in various accidents. But not a single one was destroyed by the enemy. The Soviet Union's high-speed interceptor, Mach 2.83, MiG-25 fighters chased down in State Route 71 in the Baltic Sea in 1987 and locked on the target. But before the missiles could fire, for Swedish Air Force fighter jets came to protect the Blackbird. Apart from this incident, there is no instance of the aircraft being intercepted by the enemy. It should be noted that X-15 is a faster aircraft than Blackbird.
but it is not a jet engine, it is powered by a rocket engine. Again X-15 did not fly directly in the sky like normal aircraft. It was launched on the wing of a B-52 bomber at a certain height. That's why the 6.70 Mach or 7,274 km per hour X-15 is jokingly called a manned missile. Therefore State Route 71 Blackbird is given the title of the highest speed aircraft. 2,908 km per hour in 1974. Mach 2.72, a Blackbird flew from New York to London, a distance of 5,570 km in just one hour and 55 minutes. At the time, the Concorde supersonic passenger plane took about three hours on the same route. That's all for today. See you in another video. If you enjoy the video and found it informative then please like the video and let us know your opinion in the comment box. Never forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon next to it. Share the video if we earn it. Thanks for watching.